Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and I'm very, very excited to make this video today because this is the release of a new capability that's been a long time coming, that's been a very, very common and popular request, and that is the addition of complex chart pattern recognition. Now, if you use TrendSpider, you already know that we can detect simple candlestick patterns, over 300 of them. Uh, on your chart automatically with the push of a button. You also know that we can detect trend lines on your chart automatically, Fibonacci's, and do other kinds of automated on-chart recognition. What's new here is the addition of complex chart patterns, and that lives in a new button in the toolbar called Chart Patterns. To get to it and to use it, you just click on the three dots next to the button, and you select the type of patterns that you want to experience. Um, in my view here, you're going to see I have triangles and double tops and bottoms. Now, the first version of this that will be released to the public will only have triangles in it. The double tops and bottoms are coming next, and they will be followed by other more complicated patterns like head and shoulders and cups and handles shortly thereafter. So let's turn on some pattern recognition and take a look and see what that looks like. So you can see immediately when I enable this capability, it starts to detect these patterns on the charts. On Netflix, you can see it's detected an ascending triangle. As I flip through these charts, you're going to see it's going to pick up a whole bunch of different triangle shaped patterns, and it's going to use fuzzy logic to try to identify the best pattern, taking into account the possibility of fake outs and things like that that may have happened in the price action. You can see as I keep doing this, it's finding some pretty interesting patterns for me. You can also see that in some cases, it will detect patterns while they're forming. And in other cases, it will detect them while the pattern has already broken down. For example, in Akamai here, the pattern has already broken down. Now, you can do this in a variety of different areas in the platform. It's not just on the chart. You can see it in a smart checklist here. If you want to see what the current status of a chart is for a particular pattern, you can have a smart checklist that checks for that and lets you know without you even having them rendered on the chart. You can also use complex patterns in the market scanner. And this is where it gets really cool because here you can specify if you want to find patterns where the uh, pattern is still intact, meaning it hasn't broken down or broken out yet, or if you want to find them after the fact. And you have the ability to customize your scans however you want. So you can, of course, use complex patterns in a scan that uses other conditions like other technical criteria or fundamental stuff or news events or whatever it may be. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to pick a scan that I built a little earlier. This scan first checks for a triangle that is ascending that exists, right, by just checking if there's a top line that exists. And then it's going to make sure that the bottom line is below the current low on the price and that the top line is above the current high. I'm going to check current candle because I want to scan with the most recent candles. And I'm going to click scan and it's going to search the market by literally going through the S&P 500, downloading every single chart, checking them for this pattern and giving me a list of symbols where this is currently happening. So I hope you can see the power of this. Uh, enjoy it. It's something that we're very, very proud to deliver. It's something that, I, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a lot of people have asked us for for a very long time and we've wanted to bring it ourselves for our own selfish use because we like to trade as well. Um, if you have any pattern requests or uh, comments or suggestions about this feature, feel free to drop them my way. My email is just dan at trendspider.net. And again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the feature and have a great day.